This tutorial will show how we create and use an Azure Key Vault. Let's create a Visual Studio 2022 project. We'll use the template for Blazor Web App. And let me fill this in. We can get rid of this page right here. And let's edit program CS. We're going to want to put a block of code right in here. So let me get that code. We're getting a couple errors here in this little bit of code that we added. So let me add the NuGet packages that are required. Okay, I've added these three NuGet packages. Let's go in here. We still have one thing to fix here. Probably a quick using statement should solve that problem. And so that's solved. Now we need to go into the home page and put the code in there that we want to see the secret key. So I've injected I configuration and we need to do one more thing here. Um, we're going to set up a secret in the key vault and we want to display its value right here. I should have mentioned that we don't really know what the correct value is right here yet. We won't know that until we actually create the key vault on the Azure portal. The other thing to notice about the code in Program CS is I've got it set up for production, but for this test, we really want to run it in our development environment. So I'm just going to comment out that limitation right now. When we do this, it's going to take a little bit longer because of this line of code and getting on the internet and going to Azure. Um, but at least we can run it right here in our development environment. Okay, I'm in, on the Azure portal. Let's create a key vault. Um, let me fill this page in here. I filled that in with the name Ken Test Key Vault. If we look at the next page, we see we're set up for Azure role-based access. So let's grant some of that access right now. Uh, well, not right now. We've got to first review and create this. So let's create this. Okay, it took a little bit to create that. Let's go to the resource and access control. We're going to add access. We're going to give me Key Vault Administrator access. And so for a user group, let's select me and select and make sure I get assigned and we're not going to actually publish this to the portal and actually run it there but if we were going to do that we would be in here and we would go back in here oops go back in here to access control and we would go down here and we would add the Key Vault Secrets user, um, which we would assign to some app that we have already published. And we would just choose that app and select it, and then it would also be authorized. But we're going to run this in development, so we don't need to do that. Okay, we need to go into the Key Vault and add a secret. So let's go in here. And let's add one. Let me fill this in. You can't see what you type in here, so I copied and pasted what I wanted to make sure it was good. But we can look and see what I've got here. We can go down and show the secret. So for this, my secret, I have entered. This is my very secret password. So now there's one last thing we need to do. Um, if we go into the key vault, um, we need to look at one thing. 
we need this vault URI because this is the string we have to put into program CS. So I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. You can see it's got Ken test key vault in the name. Let's go back into Visual Studio and get this finished. So I have pasted in the correct string here for that key vault URI and I am going to build it and build the solution and we're going to run it and while it does all this I'll pause the video. Okay it launched the web page and it's showing the value of my secret is this is my very secret password. So that concludes this tutorial. Have a good day.